Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hi, this is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. Tonight is Wednesday, June 10th, in the year of our Lord, 2020. Our devotion tonight is the 75th Psalm. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your name is near. We recount your wondrous deeds. At the set time that I appoint, I will judge with equity. When the earth totters and all its inhabitants, it is I who keep steady its pillars. I say to the boastful, do not boast. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high, or speak with haughty neck. For not from the east or from the west, and not from the wilderness comes lifting up. But it is God who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup with foaming wine, well mixed, and he pours out from it, and all the wicked of the earth shall drain it down to the dredges. But I will declare it forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our prayer for this evening O oh God, let us hear when our shepherd shall call in accents persuasive and tender, that while there is time we may haste one and all and find him our mighty defender. Have mercy upon us, O oh Jesus. All trials shall be like a dream that is past, forgotten all trouble and mourning. All questions and doubt have been answered at last. When rises the light that of morning, have mercy upon us, O Jesus. Amen. And our reading from Romans today is the ninth and tenth chapter, or ninth and tenth verses of the third chapter. What shall I conclude then? Are we any better? Not at all. We have already made the charge that Jews and Gentiles are alike and are all under sin. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. And of course that goes on to explain the rest of the psalm. There is none righteous, no not one. Are we to consider ourselves to be better than others because we live out according to the law? We know that no one lives the law perfectly, and yet that's what the law demands. That by the law, that's how you're going to live your life and prove that you are good. You must live it flawlessly, perfectly, without one single error. But can anybody do that? As the psalmist said, there is no one who is righteous, no, not one. So what right is there to bragging? Actually, not. I love Ephesians, for by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, not by works, lest any man should boast. Not by works. Our works count for nothing. Our works oft, often, very often, are filled with expectations. Well, Grandma doesn't love you the most, she loves me the most. Or the grandma that says, you know, I love you all equally, but don't tell them I like you the most. Well, we do the same thing with God and with this law. We have what we consider our favorite rules that we like to keep, or the ones maybe we've struggled with the most, and therefore we see the errors in other people as they fall into the traps that we, now so enlightened, no longer fall into. No, we have no bragging rights at all. There is no room to boast, lest in Christ in Him alone. For He is the answer to all of our needs. 
He is the answer to all of our prayers. I am a poor, miserable sinner, for I sin in thought, word, and deed. I'm willing to make that confession because I know that there's someone who went to the cross for the sinner like me. What a blessing to know that Jesus speaks to me and says, your sins are forgiven. I paid the price in full. And I pray that you have that same blessed feeling as well. That you know that Jesus paid the price in full. He did, he lived a life you could not. He died a death you dare not to give you what you deserve not, eternal life. What a great gift. What a great Lord. Thank God. And he reminds us of that every time we go to his word. For in the word are the words of eternal life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Have a peaceful night's sleep. In the name of Jesus. Amen.